So you're new to Genshin, you do a 10 pull on the current banner, and you get 5 star Zhao. Now what do you get with Zhao besides somebody that looks like Zhongli and Cloud Retainer's short child that has to jump so high to compensate for their shortness? Well, Zhao is a polearm wielding Animo user who, like I just said, his burst allows you to jump higher than normal and do plunging attacks that do AoE Animo damage. I'm Kessie, Mango, whatever the hell you want to call me. And because not everybody is AR60 with 36 Heart Abyss, I decided that I was going to make videos that hopefully anybody can understand. So if you do learn something from this video, do be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And with that being said, let's get into this video on Zhao. Now, I do not have Zhao. However, Somebody in my community, Doggy, has allowed me to use their Zhao to make this video. And there's a specific reason I wanted to use his Zhao. He has a top 1% Zhao on Akasha, and it is insane. So I wanted to use it just because you don't get to use 1% Zhao's that often. Now, I also said all those short jokes at the beginning because of Doggy. So that is why. That, that is why I threw extra shade at Zhao. So just like we do with every single one of these beginner guides on YouTube, we are going to look at the build of the character that we are using for this video. So we're going to look at Doggy Zhao. Now Zhao is level 90 out of 90 with almost 2200 attack and 40 EM. His crit split is 85.3 over 233.5. I told you it was an insane Zhao with 122.7 energy recharge and he does have an animo damage goblet so that is 46.6%. He is running a level 90 Staff of Homa. He does have Primordial Jade Spear, but he does not have a crit damage circlet good enough to swap over right now. He is running four piece Vermilion, and we will get a chance to look at these artifacts whenever we talk about artifacts later in the video, because that's what everybody would want to see that is not a beginner watching this video. He is C1, meaning that on his skill, we get one extra charge on it. So he'll have three charges instead of two. And for talents, he is triple crowned at 10, 10, 10. As you can see, Doggy is a Zhao main, even though he should be a Nilu main. Okay, so first we are gonna talk about his normal attacks, his charge attacks, his skill, and his burst. Now his normal attack is gonna be pretty standard for a pole arm user. He's going to do a flurry, I believe it is eight consecutive attacks onto the enemy, if they live long enough to see the eighth attack. Speaking of normal attacks, if I do not say this, Doggy said he will shoot me. Whenever it comes to your talents, level them up in the order of normal attack, burst, and then skill. Now, his charge attack is a little different than a normal polearm charge attack. It is going to be an uppercut. Now for his skill. So his skill is going to have him sprint forward, dealing animo damage to any enemies that are in the path. If you line up enemies, you can hit multiple of them. Now, like I said, because he is C1, he is going to have one extra charge. Normally, a Zhao is going to only have two. Now, Zhao does also have a passive that gives his skill a stacking effect, where every time that you use it, you are going to get a damage bonus as long as it is done within seven seconds. So as you're going to see here, every time that we hit his skill and he does the sprint forward, he is going to have an increased damage. So now we're going to talk about his burst. And his burst is going to let him jump up in the air, which if you follow that up with a normal attack, it will do a plunging attack that is going to do AoE animo damage to anything around where he lands. Now, Zhao does have another passive. This is actually his first passive that he gets that says that while under the effects of his burst, all damage dealt by Zhao increases by 5%, damage increases a further 5%. Every three seconds, the ability persists meaning that as his burst continues, as you continue to do plunge attacks, the damage will go up. So with his burst, the first plunge does around 42,000. Next, it is going to do around, I believe it is like 46, then 47,000, then 48,000, then we're going to get 49,000. So that is his passive stacking, getting extra damage as the burst persists. Now, when Zhao uses his burst, he also loses HP. So it is very important to either have a shielder or a healer with him because he is going to be low HP a lot of the times. So now we are going to look at beginner weapons. Now, Doggy does not have the beginner weapon, so I have to do it kind of like how I do artifacts if I don't have the artifact. So that's why it's going to look like this. For a three-star, which actually might be better than most four-stars, is going to be White Tassel. You can get this from opening chests in Leeway, including the new area where, like, Cloud Retainer's boss is that, that everybody went to for the event. 
So White Tassel stat is crit rate and its passive does increase normal and charged attacks, which are going to be good for Zhao. He can make use of both the crit rate and the increase in normal and charged attack damage. Now, you should be able to find enough of these to get it R5, meaning that you should be getting a, a very good damage bonus at R5 with White Tassel. So now we're going to talk about a beginner artifact set. And you've got a couple different options, depending on the rest of your team. For his best beginner artifact set, running a four-piece Berserker is going to be very, very good because that is going to give you 36% crit rate between the two-piece and the four-piece if he is below 70 HP. Because he hurts himself in his burst, it will not be difficult to stay below the 70% HP for the four-piece. So if you're finding out that you do not like keeping Xiao below 70% HP, maybe you're not really running a shielder or you're keeping him healthier because you have a good healer, whatever the case may be, if you do not like having him below 70% HP or you're not continuously getting that four piece set, then you would want to run like two piece berserker, two piece attack percent like resolution that can also be very good for him. So before we talk about the main stats, I do want to show off the flower and the plume that doggy has on his current gel which are both crazy good. So for the sands, if you can, run an attack percent sands, an animo damage goblet, and a crit rate or crit damage circlet. If you are using white tassel, then you can, if you are using like white tassel and four piece berserker, then you definitely wanna go crit damage because you will have enough crit rate or a fairly good amount of crit rate just between the weapon and the four piece berserker set. If you're only running the two piece berserker, then you may look at running also a crit rate circlet depending on your split. Now for a beginner friendly party, this is assuming that you have done one pull on the current banner, you've got Zhao, every other character that you have is the free characters that the game gives you. Doggy and I talked about this to some links about what could be a good team and we came up with a couple, but this might be the best one. So of course you're gonna have Zhao, then you're gonna have Lynette. So that way Lynette can give energy to Zhao. If you have a sacrificial sword, throw it on Lynette because that will make it to where you can use her skill more and give more energy to Zhao. Then Noel, one, to have some healing, especially some team-wide healing and a shield or the ability to make shields, which can be good for Zhao, especially if you're running like four-piece Berserker and you want to keep him below that 70% HP, then you can use Noel to create shields for Zhao to kind of protect him. And lastly is going to be Barbara for two reasons. One, a little bit of extra healing. It does make berserker side a little bit harder to keep the four piece on but barbara can equip thrilling tales which is a three star weapon that everybody should have that whenever you swap to your other character the character taking the field is going to get an attack increase and at r5 it's like 48 percent. it's a crazy crazy good support weapon for catalyst users for a three star it's really really good so the way that this team would work is that we would be using zhao skills to get damage when we're waiting on skills to uh while we're waiting on the skill cooldown we could go to barbara have her on field dealing some damage we're going to be able to swap in lynette using her skill swapping back to zhao to give zhao the energy to have his burst more readily available and with sacrificial sword we can do that multiple times lynette is also going to offer some crowd control which we will see in just a second barbara is going to have thrilling tales so whenever we swap from barbara over to Zhao, he is going to be getting a damage increase. So what we can do is we can use Lynette's burst to crowd control because the enemies are going to go around her burst, go to Barbara, use her skill maybe if we want some healing, but then swap to Zhao, get the attack increase from Thrilling Tales onto Zhao, use his burst, plunge attack. If Lynette's burst is out, the crowd control is going to help center the enemies around it to where you'll be able to hit them all with Zhao's burst with the AoE animo damage. And if he does get low HP, we can always swap in Barbara. And while we're waiting to build energy back up for him or waiting for his skill cooldown to go through, we can swap to Noelle using her shield, healing up the team, getting some extra damage in with an on-field Noelle. If you are finding out that you do not like having multiple healers on this, if you want Zhao to stay below the 70% for four piece Berserker, then maybe take out Noel and throw in like Zhang Ling. That can also be a very good team with Zhang Ling just adding more damage overall for the team. So his skill does have use outside of fighting. If you hit his skill, which you can even do in midair, he will still do the dash forward, meaning that if there's a ledge that you just can't quite glide to, you can hit his skill 
two times if you have both charges to dash over to it. Now that is going to be it for this beginner guide on Zhao. Again, thank you so, so much, Doggy, for allowing me to use your Zhao. I actually ran through some stuff uh, with his normal team, which you saw at the beginning of Zhao, Cloud Retainer, C6, Farazan, and Benny, and it was just insane. They, they were doing so much damage. And even in this video, trying to do the, uh, the beginner-friendly party, Zhao was doing so much damage, you might notice I had to run domains over and over and over and over again just to get the footage. His, his Zhao is insanely well built. Thank you, Doggy, for letting me use your account. I really appreciate it. If you learned something, do be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.